The CEOs of two major grocery store chains testified at a hearing in Portland, Oregon yesterday, defending Kroger's nearly $25 billion purchase of rival Albertsons. The Federal Trade Commission is trying to stop what would be, what would be the largest grocery chain merger in American history. Jolene Kent has more now in this morning's Money Watch. Jolene, 25 billion, that's a big grocery bill. Good morning. Yeah, that's a big number, Tony. That's right. Kroger CEO testifying yesterday that a merger with its rival Albertsons would help their stores compete with those bigger competitors like Walmart and eventually Amazon. Whether this will actually lead to better products and prices is the central question here for shoppers. And these two CEOs are vowing it will. Prices are hot. At a time when grocery prices are top of mind. Things that you used to buy, like eggs, has just gotten really expensive. They're also at the center of a major lawsuit filed by the Federal Trade Commission. The CEOs of Kroger and Albertson say if combined, they could better compete with giants like Walmart, Costco and Amazon. For our customers, it's about offering lower prices and more choices. But the FTC warns the merger of the two companies, which operate in 22 states, would give consumers fewer choices. The FTC is alleging that if Kroger and Albertsons come together, it would be bad for the consumer and raise grocery prices. Is that an accurate argument? I'm not convinced of that argument. If they're somehow able to combine their stores, some of those cost savings through lower wholesale prices could be passed on to consumers. Kroger CEO Rodney McMullen said in court on Wednesday, the day that we merge is the day that we will begin lowering prices and promised a $1 billion investment to lower prices if the merger goes through. Since 2019, grocery prices have skyrocketed. The cost of eggs rose from $1.20 to $2.72. Orange juice has jumped from $2.49 to $4.26 and a loaf of bread from $1.28 to just under $2.00. And even with larger grocery stores struggling to compete, local food markets could be barely hanging on. What could a merger like this do to smaller chains, the mom and pop shops out there? They will confront a, a bitter reality because then not only are they having less competitive power, but they also have less buying power. And that means higher prices for consumers and frankly, perhaps fewer customers. It is such a competitive marketplace out there right now. The CEO of Albertsons also testified that if this deal falls through, the chain may have to consider layoffs and store closures. Now, we want to point out that Albertsons prices are about 10 to 12 percent more than Kroger's. So the promise that prices will indeed go down is an ambitious one. But with eight other states and Washington, D.C. joining this lawsuit, we may be a ways away from any resolution and this hitting your actual grocery receipt when you go and pay at the checkout, guys. Well, Jolene, nobody wants to hear that. They just want you to make things cheaper. It's very, very expensive <laughs> right. in the grocery store. Thank you very much. Sure Always is. good to see you.